Ten races at Albion Park on Saturday night. An attractive open programme, the first of ten, coming along at 12 minutes after five. The feature race on the programme is the Remembering Ashton Lass Pace. It's the open class race. It's race number six on the card, over 2,138 metres. Coming up, we're going to speak to some of the main players. We'll be talking to Adam Sanderson, Bernie Hewitt and Ben Battle. All have good drives on Saturday night and all have a chance of leaving the creek as a winner. Adam Sanderson joins us on paper. Adam had three good drives on Saturday night. Unfortunately, it's down to two. Your stable star, Bill Haley, has gone west. Yeah, unfortunately, um, he's been sold during the week, so he'll be a, he'll be a scratching. So it's unfortunate, but, um, you know, these things happen. A little later on in the program, you drive Sweet As. Tell us about his chances. Yeah, no, she, she's going good. You know, form doesn't, doesn't read that well, but, um, you know, it draws a bit awkward. But if she gets a bit of luck, it's a little bit of a step back for her. So um, she's a good chance. When you say awkward draw, what would you like to do with her? Oh, she, she's sort of a sit sprint horse. So um, if she can track through and get a good spot early, you know, um, we'll just sort of hopefully they attack each other early and, and the last quarter is the slowest and she'll be, she'll be able to get over top. And a little later on, you drive Alleluia for Grant Dixon. You were aboard Alleluia uh, when... There was a dead heat for the minor placings last time. Yeah, he was real good last week. You know, he, he sat parked early and then and then got cover and they run a quick last quarter and it probably didn't suit him too much. So, um, you know, this week's a bit awkward, but um, he, he's racing really well. So if he can get a bit of luck, they'll know he's there. So without giving secrets away, from the number four gate, no tactics yet? No, it sort of it looks like there's a bit too much speed underneath us. So um, he'll just slot across and, and we'll, we'll play it by ear. Well, Bernie Ewart joins us. Bernie's been enjoying the winter sunshine in Queensland, but you're soon to head home, I understand. That's right, Terry. Yeah, head in, heading home on Monday. Are you driving Royal Story? You were placed on him last week? Yeah, I think she's run second her last three starts, and she won previous to that at Albion, all at Albion on Saturday night. So um, come up with a wide barrier Saturday night. Uh, back row, wide barrier. So, yeah, the task's in front of her this week. Yeah, it is gate number 11, so you're going to have to do a little bit of thinking early doors. That's right. You know, it's uh, it's over the mile, so, you know, the, there'll be no loafing early. So at some stage, you'll have to be put into the race. And those that like numbers, race five, number five, catch me if you can. Yeah, being honest, just keeps drawing out a bit out a bit wide for him. He's probably a better horse drawn in behind where he can just uh, do no work and, and finish on. But he's been very honest since I've been up here. Race seven, Brad's luck, four gate. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a horse that's a uh, fairly strong character and, um, you know, I expect him to go pretty good. Um, he's been mainly racing on the, on the Tuesdays or Fridays, but, um, you know, he's acquitted himself pretty well. He's had a few off runs, um, but, you know, he, he should go pretty good. And I'm a Black Beauty. I think he's your final driver of the night. Yeah, well, she races in the last today here at Redcliffe and, um, yeah, she's, uh, she's a chance again. Uh, just depends on what sort of trip she gets and how she pulls up after this run. Yeah, well, she's drawn, I think, in the nine. Yeah, that's right, yeah, so that mightn't be too bad on the back row there, so um, she won't be doing a lot of work early and hopefully finishes it off well. Have you enjoyed the Queensland winter? I have, Terry, yeah, it's been really good. Um, didn't really plan to come for as long as I have, but, um, yeah, bought an Oaks filly and a, and a Derby cult up and um, uh, sent him home soon, soon after the uh, Derby final. We didn't start him in that, getting, getting him ready for a big race next year in, in New South Wales, so... Um, and it brought a few others along as well, but really enjoyed it. It's been lovely weather, and um, yeah, I've missed a lot of the cold stuff. I bet you have. Let's hope you take some Queensland cash home from Saturday night. Good on you, yeah. Thanks, Terry. Ben Battle joins us now. Ben's driving Whiskey Blaze in the second. You own, train, and drive him, and you're trying to make it two in a row. Yeah, uh, he's been a good little bit of fun, that little horse. He's uh, actually the first horse that I ever um, owned. He was sort of my ticket into the into the game, so to speak, and uh, he's, he's done a really good job for us so far. Gate number three, Saturday night, happy with that? Um, yeah, I think he's a lot better when you sort of don't have to, to use him early and it, it just drive him um, for one run late in the race, but uh, hopefully from, from gate three you can posse up somewhere not too far off him and be firing some bullets late with any luck. By well, the sounds of it, you're, you're hoping they'll give you a smother. Yeah, that's right, yeah, that's his, that's his racing pattern and um, he's been racing well, he, nice and consistent. I, um, I don't think he's be been beaten any more than sort of 10 metres in his last half a dozen runs, so he's been ultra consistent of late, so hopefully he can keep going. And in the open race, you have uh, Happy Camp Clive, which I think this will be the second run for you? Yeah, Holy Camp Clive, yeah. He's um, 
a good old campaigner is left up here um, by Chris Frisbee and Connections. Um, so we can keep going with him. He was pretty luckless last week, um, caught up in traffic behind a tiring leader and, um, you know, had a, a lot left in the, in the locker and just nowhere to go. And uh, the week before, he, he ran a great race, um, led up going 152.8 and um, only got beat, collared the last sort of couple of hundred metres. So that was a good run and, and hopefully he can be forward in the run on, on Saturday night and take some catching again with any luck. Gate number three, I'm assuming you'll be pushing the pedal down in the early part. Uh, yeah, I think we'll um, adopt the same tactics as a, a couple of weeks ago where they drove him quite aggressive early and he, he gave a, a whole heap of cheek in a strong field and, um, as I said, was only collared the last few hundred metres in a really slick uh, mile on a, a windy, cold night. So it was a really good run that night. So hopefully he can get back to that, that sort of form and he, he should take a, a power of beating if he can. And in the last race, an outside drive on no confession. Uh, yeah, it uh, was a, a good run last week. It uh, went down narrowly on um, last Friday night and uh, hopefully we can have a bit of luck with it this week and go one better. Well, let's hope we're paying, you are paying a visit to the winner's circle. Yeah, with any luck, that'd be great. Well, some thoughts from Adam, from Ben and from Bernie about the creek on Saturday night. Ten races on the program. My pick, well, I thought in the first that um, number eight, Tommy Gunn might have a chance from that back row, back row draw with what appears to be plenty of speed in front. Race one, number eight. Best of luck at Albion Park on Saturday night.